seamless integration, enhanced visualization, clinical confidence. The SOAR system is the first retractor to integrate neural retraction and articulating discectomy instruments with a tissue retractor system. By reducing neural retraction requirements and enhancing visualization, the SOAR system is designed to minimize neurologic risk while enabling decompression and discectomy for interbody fusion procedures. To begin, determine the desired trajectory, insert the guide pin, dock it against the facet joint, radiographically confirm the location and in size. Pass the dilators sequentially over the guide pin until the desired portal diameter is reached. Markings on the dilator indicate the correct length to choose. Attach the variable angle top ring to the selected retractor tube. Advance the retractor over the last dilator and adjust the post to be parallel to the patient's skin. Connect the support arm to the post. Make final trajectory adjustments. Lock it into place and remove the dilators. If supplemental light is desired, an LED fiber optic cable can be attached to the retractor. Bony exposure, decompression, and discectomy can be performed using a combination of conventional surgical instruments or with the Spinology OnePass system. To use the OnePass system, connect the I-beam to the track in the top of the retractor. Introduce the guide pin through the I-beam and into the disc space followed by the dilators and access portal. Position the access portal approximately 5 millimeters into the disc. In this position, the access portal now serves as the neural retractor. To initiate the discectomy, a drill is used to create an operative channel in the disc. Regulating the depth of penetration is done with an adjustable stop on the proximal end of the access portal. An expanding shaper then widens the discectomy. The shaper is placed through the access portal closed and then expanded by turning the adjustment knob located on the proximal end of the instrument. The shaper is followed by the backhoe articulating ring curette. Squeezing the handle on the backhoe causes the ring to articulate to the side of the central channel. The backhoe is used to widen the discectomy and decorticate the end plates. To extract the disc tissue, the system includes a pituitary rongeur and wire brushes. The pituitary rongeur collects the material in the centrum of the disc, whereas the brushes ensnare and remove tissue from the periphery of the cavity. The Spinology Rampart T Interbody Fusion System includes both rotating distractors and fixed implant trials for sizing the disc to select an implant. To optimize final position, the Rampart T implant has a curved design to aid in placement under the anterior apophyseal ring. The implant is initially impacted into position straight, then provisionally released and impaction resumed to turn the implant. Posterior fixation is placed at the conclusion of the procedure.